With Keen IDE, you can simulate, emulate, debug and program the target R microprocessor. So how do we do all these things? Let's see in this video. Hello guys. Today let us see how to work in the Keel R environment. For this, you need to install the MDK4 from the Keel. If you install the Keel R version, you will be getting this icon. If you simply double click on it and open it up, you will be getting this window. And by default, you will be getting the default project. So in this, you need to create first a new project. For that, go to the project menu. New Microvision project. Here you select the required folder, the destination where you want to save the project. For example, I'll store in my desktop in this folder and give a project name. Let me give the project name as project1. Just save it. And now it will ask for the target processor to be selected. So here you can select the required processor of your choice. For our simulation purpose, I will select the ARM 70 DMI processor, in particular the ARM processor. So which I can find in this location NXP founded by Philips there you just go to the processor LPC2148 here it is click on OK before that you can see the description of this particular processor which has got 32 uh, bit risk uh, core 512 KB of on chip ROM and uh, several other features like it has got two UART, two I2C serial interfaces, and two 32 bit timers. All these we can make use in programming. So, after this, click on OK. Now it will ask for whether to include the startup code. This startup code may be required for a real time project on the R processor. So for our simulation purpose this file is not needed. So you can click on no. So when the project is created it will be loaded up like this and you will get the project explorer the target one displayed. You can expand it like this. You will get source group one. So your project is created now. Now you can start writing your assembly language program or a C language program for our target processor. So let me create a new assembly file. Just click on this icon, open up a new notepad. Here you can start typing your code let me write, copy the program I already created this is the program I am going to write so more about this writing skills of for this ASM program we will see in next video so after writing the program like this just save it go to file and save you have to save now this assembly file in the directory where you have saved the project. You should be very careful in this. You should not store it in uh, any other destination folder. It should be saved in the same folder where you saved the project. Let me save it as ex. 
one dot the extension should be yes or you can give it as asm also asm or dot yes so click on ok so it is saved when it is saved you can see the syntax is getting highlighted the direct numbers are getting the colors and the instruction of course are getting bold so all these things you can observe so the asm file is created now even it is created it is not added to our project so you need to add this to our project for that right click on source group 1 in the project explorer go to the option add files to group source group 1 click on this this window will open up where you have to search for the program you have just now created for that you can use this window but even if you go to the destination folder where you created the project it will not be visible this is because file type is not listed out here so you have to list out the project sorry list of the file type so it should be ASM source files so if you do that list out all the ASM files you have created or you might have created just now just click on the ASM file you have created I have created as ex1.s click on add now it is added up to our project you can observe that in the project explorer so but this window will be still open it is open to add some other files to the same project since we are adding only one project just close it so now we can expand this you can see our asm file got added to our project so this is it our project is ready our asm file is added to our project now you can debug it for debugging you can select source group 1 and you can go to the project menu there you can go for build target or rebuild all target files if we have multiple files or we have a shortcut icon here which is build or rebuild also we have the keyboard alternatives f7 and yes so if i do rebuild all it will display the possible errors and warnings right now i don't have any errors or warnings zero errors zero warnings so my project is ready and uh, assembly file is error free now i can go for debugging the program so for that go to debug menu then start or stop debug session or else there is a shortcut icon here which is this D. so if you click on this it will show a limitation window that is only 32 kilobyte source code is allowed so click on ok so this is sufficient for our uh, simulation so when this is done you will be getting the debug window in this way you will be getting two newly added windows that is uh, this window which is the register window where you can switch between project window and register window if you click on the project window you will be getting the projects you have created the project on which you are working if you click on the register you will be seeing the register on which currently you are working and this is a disassembly window where you can see our programs assembly codes or assembly instructions corresponding hex codes so you can explore that so this is the window where we have the written program so you can execute this just by 
clicking on this which is step by step execution or step over execution or else we have the shortcut key keys also which is F11 or F10 if I click on F11 that means step by step execution one instruction will be executed in one click as you can see the first instruction got executed in the same way you can execute the remaining instruction one after the other the corresponding process is happening in the instruction you can see in the register window for example here to the register r1 number 1 is loaded as you can see in the register window to the r1 register 1 is loaded so this is how you can simulate an assembly language program more about writing assembly language and a particular program to solve a problem will be seen in the next video so guys if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and if you like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel for more video updates thank you